Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Tiffany Jetter and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time. So what is up you guys? So I had this video idea to do um, and it is about looking at the glass half full in 2023. Um, and this just came over me. Um, now I will say about myself, my nature is I am a bubbly up a beat person. I do look at the glass half full almost 98% of the time. So I do usually look towards the positive side of things, but I know not everybody does and it's not easy for everybody. It's hard for some people. I mean, it's really easy for us to get critical and stuff on ourselves. Believe me, I know that. I have some people and family members in my life um, that are real critical on themselves and hard on themselves and by the way, sorry if I look like I've been crying. That's because I have been crying. I just got done watching, um, what was that movie? Where the Crawl Dead Sing or whatever. So yeah, I was doing a little bit of crying. Yes. Anyway, make sure you are subscribed and give this video a like if you feel encouraged, if you found it encouraging. Um, I was going to look cute and stuff for this video, but I thought I would go ahead and do it while I had this on my mind and I've written some stuff down and I hope this encourages you, um, to look at the glass more positively, to look at the glass half full instead of not full, to look at the positive things in life and reflect on the positive things in life, which isn't always easy, but it can be done. So the first thing I want to say, um, is number one that can help you surround yourself with positive inspiring people um, a good friend I actually went out to dinner tonight with a good friend her name is Bree she has been my friend from, from high school she's one of my oldest and dearest friends and she's one of the only girl few very girls that I've stayed in touch with from high school and she actually lives in Arizona I'm in Texas and she came down for the holidays and so I got to see her tonight with me and my girls and, you know, she's one of those friends I have that we cannot see each other for a few months or six months pass by. And then we meet back up and we can talk easily again about what's going on in our lives. And I just believe and think that everybody needs a friend like a Brie in their life. Someone, not someone that's always going to agree with you, but someone that's going to be there. And y'all can encourage each other. We were bouncing ideas off each other. Um, talking about career paths and talking about health and just overall things and honestly it felt really good she was listening to me I was listening to her we were bouncing ideas off each other so I really feel like surround yourself with positive people that will inspire you um, I do have some critical people in my life I, I think everybody does some you may be critical on yourself um, but try to surround yourself with more positive uplifting people if you don't have anybody in your family that's um, positive, make a new friend. Find somebody. Go to a church. I know I'm not saying everybody in a church is wonderful, but that is a good place to look. Okay, number two thing to help you look at the positive side of things is listen to motivational um, type of videos, self-help videos, um, podcast. Um, I actually, when I've been cleaning the kitchen at night after cooking and I'm washing the big dishes and it's not really fun, um, I put on some motivational videos. Like I don't watch it, but I just listen. I listen to what they're saying and I'm, I'm actually already positive, but listening to them, like say these positive inspiring words makes me want to go out and do so much more. And it really, really motivates me. So maybe you're you're kind of semi-positive about life, but you need that extra push. Um, I think listening to a podcast or listening to a video like that will really, really uplift you. And I want to talk about one person I really love is Priyanka Chopra. Chopra, if I'm saying her name right. And I'm sure most of you know who Priyanka Chopra is. She is married to, not Joe Jonas. God, what is his name? She's married to one of the Jonas brothers. He's cute. What is his name? Y'all are going to kill me. Um, it's one of his, one of the Jonas Brothers. His name will come back to me. It's not Joe, though. It's another one. Um, but she is an Indian actress. She also has acted here in America. She was Miss World. She was Miss India. And I actually am speaking from my experience. I feel she is a very, very motivating person to listen to for podcasts and her videos. 
I'm not sure she has an actual podcast, but I've, I've listened to her videos she has on YouTube. I've, I was listening to, to her video today on the way home from taking my husband to work, and it's a long drive. And I just felt so inspired with everything she says. Um, it's just stuff you need to hear. I, it's stuff everybody needs to hear. Um, listen to Priyanka Chopra. She's just one, but there's so many great motivational speakers online, and there's so many great motivational um, life coaches on that have podcasts. So yeah, those can really, really help you look at the glass half full. Okay, another thing to help you look at the glass half full is to keep a, I'm sorry, I feel like I had something hanging out of my nose. Another thing to keep you uh, motivated and thinking positive is to keep a gratitude journal and have a time of reflection every day before you go to bed. Um, this is just like writing down a few things that you're grateful for that day. It could be a roof over your head. It could, you had a nice lunch with your parents. You met a new friend today. Just, you know, not every day is wonderful, but there's always something good in every day. So if you can reflect on those things, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't always write in my gratitude journal. Sometimes life gets busy and we just don't, but if you need help, getting it into a better state of mind. I think reflecting on what you're grateful for is a great way to do that. This is a self-care journal, by the way, that I have. Another thing, tip I would give you is go on walks. Get some vitamin D. Why do I still think I have something hanging? <laughs> go on walks, get vitamin D. Vitamin D will help you. Also, don't be on your phone on the walks. I do think it could be kind of important to bring a phone in your pocket in case an emergency or something happened. So I do think there's an importance of having a phone, but don't be on your phone. Be be on the lookout for anything happening. And But I do a lot of self-reflection and just thinking about life, thinking about my dreams and goals when I go on walks here around my neighborhood or Maybe it's not your neighborhood. Maybe it's a park or something like that. And it's also smart to walk with a friend, too, or have a stick or something. Um, and then the next thing is know that sometimes you will fail. Failing is a part of life. You're not always going to have a good sales day. You're not always going to have a good YouTube video. Um, you're not always going to have a great speech. What, whatever it may be, whatever field you're in or work or certain part of life. I mean, you're going to have days where you fail, where you you feel like a failure. And um, you just got to dust yourself up and get back up, off, get back up again, girl or boy. You just got to do that. We all have our days where we're going to cry, we're going to feel down. It's going to happen. But in the long run, we get back up. Okay, another thing is saying mantras to yourself or positive quotes, and this may sound really stupid, but I was telling someone in my family this today because they criticized themselves and they were saying they were ugly and whatever and whatever, and I said, no, you need to look yourself in the mirror and say, I am beautiful, I am brave, I have a heart of gold, I can do this, I got this, God has got me. So... I mean, it doesn't have to be those actual phrases or quotes that I just told you. It could be anything, whatever your talent is. or, But you may actually have to look yourself in the mirror and say these things to yourself. Or if you don't want to like look in your mirror and say those things to yourself, maybe write like little, get little post-its with like little positive words or affirmation. Put it on your vanity. Put it on your mirror that you look in every day. Put it in the bathroom where you're going to brush, be brushing your teeth. And look at those positive words, and you're going to feel better. You're going to look at life. You're going to look at that glass half full and see how much you can accomplish. Okay, and the last tip I would give is have confidence. Now, have, having confidence is not easy. You kind of, what I, what I believe is you kind of have to fake it until you make it with confidence. Um, you... I mean, this is what I did, and someone told me this. You kind of have to fake having confidence and kind of fake, you know, what you're doing until you actually know it um, because you're going to doubt yourself a lot. But the biggest step, and I think this is a great thing that comes with age, is you have to, and I, I think a great thing with, like, getting older is you really believe in yourself more. Like, you grow wisdom, of course, and you just start to believe in yourself and 
I don't know. I just feel like that's the great thing about aging is you get more confident and um, you don't put up with bullshit. So have confidence in yourself. Believe in yourself. Be your biggest cheerleader. And everything will fall into the pla into place. Okay, I am feeling weird with my nose here. But I hope this video has encouraged somebody. I wanted to, this was on my heart, so I thought I would share it. Um, it's not always t easy to look at the glass half full. You know, it's easy for us to point out the negative stuff in our life. It's very, very easy to do that. Um, I'm going to say an example about myself. I did say I am mostly positive, right? I am mostly a bubbly person. But I did some self-reflection one day last week, and I was laying in bed, and I was just, I don't know why. I don't usually think this way, but I let my brain go to that logical part or to that deep, dark part, and I was thinking of all the bad things that have happened in my life, all the mistakes I've made, all the loss and the grief that I've suffered or had, and I started to think, Tiffany, you've really had a sad life. There was a voice that spoke to me and said, why are you so upbeat? Like, there was that kind of that bad angel that sits on your shoulder, the bad person talking to you. Uh, why, why, are you so, why are you happy? How can you smile again after everything that's that's uh, that's happened and transpired in your life. And so I, I reflected about that for a minute, and then I was like, nope, nope, the good angels got me, and can I change what has happened in the past? I can't go back and change anything. I can't go back and correct the mistakes that I've done and stuff like that. You live, you grow, you can only do better in the future, so... Even though I did have a downtime, and I don't care how positive you are, you're still going to have some bad thoughts sometimes, like I just told you. Um, overall, life is pretty good. I'm blessed. I'm in good health. And I have a lot to be grateful for. So, And I also want to say thank you so much for y'all for being here listening to me. Um, I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great new year. I think I'll put this up before 2023 so you can reflect on these things. I hope to also share my goals or re New Year's resolutions also in a future video. I'll have a vlog coming up. And yeah, I feel really, really motivated for 2023. I was kind of like thinking a few days ago, oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm, I've got some pep in my step. And I hope that my pep in the step can be pep for you also. Bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.